You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have the pleasure of having Amy Corum, who is woman extraordinaire, who is a teacher, teaches people music, plays music herself for years and years, and is had an inspiration to, for the 100th anniversary of the Rotary Club of Brockton, work with Vinnie McCreener and the talented musicians at Brockton High School to bring together a centennial celebration and actually have a song with the composer for Brockton. Amy, that's extraordinary. I'm amazed. You talked about it in the idea stage. I was sitting at a table with you at a Rotary meeting, mm -hmm. and reality is going to hit on April 4th, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Starting a year ago. Tell us about... Um, uh, we're going we're gonna to see him um, at the concert, but Randy Klein is going to come yeah. to Brockton High, work with the kids, rehearse with the kids. He got a little derailed, to say the least. He was trying to get on a train up here, and a tree fell across the tracks, and it didn't happen, all this wonderful weather. But he's coming here, and he's, he's composed this. It's, it's, it's multi-parts to the song. Yeah. So what do you want to tell us to enlighten us about this wonderful event? Well, a year ago... I had the idea for Randy to, uh, uh, to write a piece of music for Brockton. And when I asked him, the first thing he did was uh, he asked me to describe Brockton. So being a lifelong Brocktonian, I described Brockton to him. And with that, he immediately said, hmm, I'm feeling a 15-minute piece in three different parts, three movements, music of immigrants, music of champions and music of diversity and I said wow that's spot on and I said the only thing is I don't have anybody to play the music or a place to play the music if you write the music but let me work on it because mm -hmm. I know a lot of people around town and I'll figure it out so I brought the idea to Vinnie Macrina and the first thing he said was I love this idea because I'm an immigrant mm -hmm. he said uh, and he said, if you have this music written, I will have my concert band play it next year, because this was a year ago. Mm -hmm. I'll have them play it in the spring concert, and, uh, and that's what we'll do. So I started fundraising, and uh, I actually, the first person I went to the very next day was John Marion. Mm -hmm. And I went in, and I was telling John Marion about the idea and there was some gentleman that I didn't know standing right behind him. And I noticed him, but uh, I was talking to John. And when I finished telling John the whole story that I told you, the gentleman said, I love what you're doing for our city, ma'am. And could I give you $20, please? Mm -hmm. I said, is that it's the nicest thing ever? Mm -hmm. Of course you can. So he gave me a $20 bill. But what he doesn't know is that that made the whole thing real for me because now I had, I was fundraising. Mm -hmm. And since then, of course, I've gone to a few banks and I've written a few grants and many, many, many business people around the city have contributed and we've raised a lot of money to pay Randy and to p pay for the beautiful um, uh, uh, party that we're having the night before down at the cultural center sure and uh, and it's becoming real and now it's in two weeks and Randy uh, was uh, was supposed to be here at last Friday but right. the train got canceled so I went over to the high school with my iPad and I recorded the whole re the rehearsal and I sent the videos to Randy so we didn't really miss a step because Randy could call Vinny and uh, discuss the sure. rehearsal and as if he was standing there. So the particulars are April 4th at 7 in the Nelson Auditorium at Brockton High School. Right. Uh, tickets, you can't do better than this. $4 for right. the ticket. And you I can think get them at the door. Yes. You can get them at the office. Right. Are they being sold in any other locations? No. Okay. Can you get them from the Rotarian? I don't think Just so. Just wondering. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they do that. But um, the kid, my son was in all the bands, all of Vinny's bands. I never made it to Brockton High to be in the band. I was afraid of Vinny. Vinny and I worked together. <laughs> I love cover. We love covering it. We are going to be there. We are going to 
cover it, but it, you got to experience it live. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not the same. Even if it's on TV, it's not the same. You have to go. It's I we're going to so. make it into like the PBS special later. Absolutely. But we want people to go. It, it I mean, immigrants, champions, diversity. Mm -hmm. What could be better than that? The people we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You're a champion. Vinny's a champion. That's right. I met Randy when you had him up here before. He's a champion. He's a champion. <laughs> yeah. And all the people that are supporting this. You have quite a few sponsors. Yes. Rotary in Brockton is 100 years old. It's a right. wonderful organization right. and great people in it. And what better to showcase Brockton? Now we'll have a Brockton the youth. song. Mm -hmm. The youth. Yes. Okay, and it's 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 going to be a treat. Okay, and we think and we hope and we pray that we're not going to get any more weather oh, on the fourth. We don't want that to happen because no. we want people to be there, and um, I think it's right. going to be another thing to actually put Brockton on the map. The musical so. champions yeah. that it's we've had over thing. the years, yeah. going way 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 back. It's not champions just on the sporting fields. That's right. It's champions in the classroom. It's champions outside the classroom. Vinny always says musicians are smarter and they do better in school because they're disciplined, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. you, you, you've done I it. I teach them all the time. Okay, and you had students that went to Carnegie Hall. Yep. And you don't like any spotlight on you. You always put the spotlight on other people. So but this is going to put... the spotlight is on everything else in the okay. city. And you know, I need to not forget to say that at this concert, there's also going to be a visual element on a, on s the screen. Okay. Sean Washington mm -hmm. and Sese Johnson from Rotary. Yeah. Sean is from the Cultural Center at, at uh, on Dover Street, and they are collaborating in creating a visual uh, uh, complement to the music. Oh, nice. So we'll be looking at pictures that that uh, coordinate with the music. Okay, and I see you have concert. a flyer there too. Central Music is yes. uh, Randy's going to be over at Central Music. Yes. Well, Randy wrote a book on uh, uh, the introduction to writing a song. Okay. So we've been working with Central Music, and Central Music has decided to carry the book, and they're having a book signing, a musical book signing on Thursday. Randy will still be here the day after the concert. Sure. At uh, four o'clock, four to five o'clock at uh, Central Music and he'll be there and uh, be selling his book and playing and interacting with the kids and uh, so it should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. I structured my day days around all of this yeah. and we'll be up the high school to see him. We'll give everybody a sneak peek after the fact. How's right. that? So great Before work. And after. I got the cue. So we're done, believe it or not. You're high energy, you got things to do, places to go, people mm -hmm. to see. So make sure that you go to the high school spring concert, the centennial of Brockton Rotary with the premiere of the Brockton song written by, composed by Randy Klein. Randy Klein. Performed by the BHS concert band. Tickets are $4. You can get them at the door. I bet you there won't be a seat in the house. So good work, Amy. I hope not. Thank you. I hope there's standing room only. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.